Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you must have seen the title in this video I will be sharing my personal experience which happened last Saturday night on how to protect yourself, what to do and what not to do when your card wallet is stolen from your car or maybe anywhere else even if it falls down. So stay tuned and watch the full video till the end to know how much I lost, how much I recovered, how much money I spent on renewing the license and every other details I will be talking about in this video. So watch the video till the end. So firstly, before starting the video, I would like to apologize that I'm making a video after two months now in 2023. I think this is my first or second video. Well, I have been very busy in the first two months itself. I know the economy is down, not performing so well and other problems are going on. But trust me, the business or the company that I'm employed for is doing excellent and we have so many orders and everyone is so busy. So what you see in the news may or may not be correct, but whatever it is on my company, the work is workload has increased a lot and the business is doing very good. That was on a side note. Yeah. So coming back to the video with the problems happening, you must have been seeing in the news also and the economy is falling and not stable and cost increasing inflation, salary not rising so much and everything becoming more expensive. So when things are becoming expensive, people tend to, you know, follow shortcuts and the illegal or the criminal activities increases. That's the human nature and that happens everywhere in the world. So what happened last week with me also here in Chelmsford was my card wallet was stolen, which was kept in the glove box of my car. So last Saturday, I went to visit my friend in Chelmsford itself near Miami roundabout and my car was parked at usual visitor parking space uh, on the ground floor and his apartment was on second floor. We went up and we had nice dinner and everything. And suddenly I started to get, you know, texts from banks, different banks, Barclays Bank, Lloyds Bank and HSBC. Suddenly a lot of messages, credit amount debited, your card was used here, your card was, was used there from Tesco, MACD and what, are, what not other places. So I re quickly realized that there is something off and my card is being used somewhere and I am at my friend's place or so something is wrong. I ran down to my car and just noticed that, okay, he has taken my card wallet because all my cards were in that wallet. So it had my Barclays credit card, my HSBC debit card, Lloyd's debit card, driving license, full UK driving license and UK BRP, the skilled worker visa BRP. Five cards stolen and I was very confused what to do, what not to do. And I was just like, you know, this happened for the first time. So I was panicked, scared, not sure what to do. Luckily, my wife was with me. My friends were there also. So we had multiple phones. So my friend helped, you know, he directly contacted Essex police and noted down the incident. So we reported to the Essex police about the incident that happened and gave the details, everything. Secondly, my wife was another call with the card companies to block the cards as soon as possible because seeing the messages, if you add up around 250 pounds were already deducted from different cards and the homeless people, the thief who was the homeless person I know in Chelmsford itself, they had a very good party that night. But coming to that later on, so 250 pounds were deducted. I suddenly, you know, I asked immediately my I asked my wife to block all the cards and on the app itself, uh, Lloyd's we were able to do on the app itself, HSBC also I blocked it suddenly, immediately, not suddenly, immediately on my app and Barclays we were on call on hold for at least 30 minutes from 80 pounds that amount that was deducted from Barclays increased from 80 pounds to 130 pounds by the time we were able to block the card. So we know this local area quite well and we saw the message okay it was used at Home Foods Grocer. So we know that it's on Duke Street in Chelmsford. So I directly called up Home Foods because we are a regular customer there that please don't allow the person to use my card. He knew it right away that, you know, something is off. And then he was very helpful. Actually, the person at the till was very helpful and he did not allow any more transactions. So that was it. The cards then were blocked. So that was sorted. Police complaint was done. That was also sorted. Now it was time to get the money back. So when you report fraudulent transactions, you know, when the person who stole your card here, he will not need your ATM pin or anything. It's just tap and pay. So if your limit is say hundred pounds, he will be easily able to tap anywhere the card and tap hundred pounds. And it was very easy for him. 
and this all things happened at around midnight you know roughly from 10:30 to midnight or 1 o'clock on saturday night so we reported everything cards blocked and everything was done and sorted then we went to the duke street by car and then we saw okay there's a lot of crowd over here people are using and people are enjoying and having a good friday night we saw all the homeless people over there some known faces some unknown faces having good bottles of beer and wine and whiskey and what not so we immediately realized that okay these guys are having a blast on saturday night one of them is the thief but luckily not luckily actually we saw the thief also i saw the thief he was using my card right in front of me but i could not do anything and the shopkeeper also said just wait for the sx police to do their job and i think it is best you know even if you are tempted to do like if it was in india and i see somebody using my stolen card i would have grabbed him right over there and done something about it but in here i did not want to jeopardize the case and did not do anything i was like just wait for the sx police to do their thing so i told them that okay the person is here the cctv footage is there from time 2247 or 2347 I told them the timings and everything, and the case is still pending under CID. Now, four days into the case or five days into the case, I have applied for my BRP. I have paid thirty-two pounds to renew the BRP. I have paid one hundred and thirty-two pounds for getting an appointment for biometrics for BRP. That is on twentieth of March this month. And then document scanning and other charges, which I didn't feel necessary, so I did not take those. But mind you guys if your brp is stolen you need to report it within 3 months or there is a fine of 1000 pounds so i did not know that earlier so after this incident happened i knew okay that we have to report so i immediately reported my brp to lost and found and also reported my driving license also to lost and i applied for brp it's a fairly simple process on go uk government website filled out all the details and i applied for the renewal paid the fees and my appointment is there i will keep you updated if i get my brp or if is there any difficulties along with it now coming uh, brp is sorted now coming to the driving license i applied next day uh, sunday morning itself driving license stolen and then applied for a replacement driving license i paid 20 pounds for that and within 4 or 5 days my driving license is in my hand right now so driving license was sorted now coming to the main where i lost around 250 pounds that was lloyds and hsbc and barclays banks well all the three replacement cards have been delivered to me i have the new debit cards and credit cards as and when and the money that was deducted was under they were marked the amounts as fraudulent the money has already been you know refunded back to me so all the 250 pounds that were lost i got it back so that's also very good and i think kudos to the banking system over here that the money was refunded back to me cards were done so there is no not much problem and now if you just sum up what happened in this incident complete incident incidents actually lot of you know stress because i have already paid around 170 pounds for renewal of brp 20 pounds for renewal of driving license so 200 pounds i am losing for no fault of mine but the sx police is very good i have heard and i will be trying this also uh, they said that the court will pay you off you know you just have to fill a small form and give the proofs of payments that you have done uh, for renewal of driving license and brp or passport as and whatever the case may be and the court will refund you the amount within few days so i will be going and heading to the sx police today and see if i can fill up the form and do the formalities and hopefully that money will also be refunded so i just want to tell you guys that if something like this or should something like this happen and you lose your card debit card wallet card uh, debit card driving license brp passport anything do not panic do not stress out so much like i did because this happened for me it was the first time and i'm sure i hope it doesn't happen to you but in case it happens to you then it's always good to be prepared and know what to do how to do and when to do so just to sum up the video first thing is to stop and block the cards as soon as possible then contact the banks for a refund and register a case also contact the police the local uh, local county police here it is sx county so sx police chemsford police 
report to them and they will you know do the investigation and do the cctv and footage and check everything and then they will catch the thief hopefully so do that and then apply for renewal of brp driving license and passport whatever might be the case the process is fairly simple it's on gov.uk website and then once all this is done and you have a time some time to breathe amount is refunded and everything is sorted the amount that you have spent on brp and driving license renewal go to police station fill out the form and apply for a refund for the amounts that you have paid so that you don't lose any hard-earned money that you know and whatever you are paying for renewal it's refunded to you so that is fairly fair you know straightforward procedure and hopefully you don't lose but if you lose then this is the process how to go about it and i'm sharing my personal experience hope it is helpful to you guys and trust me i will try to make more videos you know come up with new videos more often i don't want to do the regular gisapita videos which you see on all the channels so i'm trying to bring something new content i'm trying to bring some new content to the channel and help you guys as much as i can so hopefully you have watched the video till the end and thank you so much for supporting my channel and good luck and sayonara